Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're gonna be completing the quest Children of the Sun. There are no quest stats, items, or recommended items needed. For the teleports, also nothing, but if you want to save between 3 to 10 seconds, then you can bring 1 to 3 regular Varrock teleports. Where to start this quest is here at the Varrock Eastern Square, next to the quest speed threading NPC. Let's talk to Noah or Alina. Then select option 1, 1, 2. And after you selected option 2, the delegation of Varlamore should arrive. And Alina will tell you that Varlamore is an isolated kingdom between seas and mountains, ruled by the Sun Queen, located south of Great Courant. After this cutscene is over, we will need to follow a suspicious guard. If you've already completed the quest Sins of the Father, this is really similar to that quest. First, let's stand on the western side of Louis Rain Shop and wait for the guard to turn around. After it has turned around and starts walking again, continue following the guard, but don't catch up too fast until it passed the southern building south of Louis and stand north of the building with the two cooking ranges. After the guard has checked if anyone was following, follow the guard south and stand in the southeastern corner of the same building, the one with the two cooking ranges. After the guard has continued running, follow the guard and go to the southwestern building of Old Marlowe's house. Wait there until the guard once again turns around and continues walking. Now there's one more place that we will need to hide. And that is at Old Marlowe's house in the southeastern corner. Stand in that southeastern corner and you'll see that the disguised guard will enter the building just next to Aubrey's rune shop. Next, we'll need to make our way to the Verrock Square. Simply run there or use your first Verrock teleport, go north to the Verrock Palace and in front of the city gates, castle gates, talk to the sergeant and you will tell him what you have seen. Afterwards, immediately teleport back to the Verrock Square and next to the gypsy's tent, there you'll find the first guard that you will need to mark. Click on it, then continue east. Next to the quest start, there should be a guard without a helm. Click on that one as well to mark, then continue east. The next one is north of Louis' shop. He's leaning against the wall. Mark that one. And there's one more guard left. That is the fourth one, the one holding a mace. Next, use your final Varrock teleport or run back to the Varrock square. Talk to the sergeant to start the final cutscene. In this cutscene, the Prince of Fallamore left the Dry Delegation meeting and followed the commotion upstairs where the bandits are taken. And after the Prince suggests to the bandits a common torture method of slowly getting burned alive, the bandit will spill his beans and tell you that the priest was a target and that is all he knows. And that is enough information to complete the Children of the Sun quest. You are awarded with one quest point and access to Varlamore. By the way, currently we are on the roof of the Varrock Castle. If you haven't brought any teleports away, just go east. 
climb down the ladder and then go climb down the staircase to get back to the Verrock Square. This was my guide how to complete Children of the Sun quest. Hopefully it has helped. Stop, rate, comment. Okay, thanks, bye.